What's up you guys, it's Ash saying welcome back to my channel. Excuse my appearance today, I feel like something that died and was risen from the dead. I'm a little bit under the weather, but we're gonna film today because it's been a hot minute since I filmed and I just really wanted to film something today. I picked up products from the Natural Collection, so I think I got something for every part of the face and I just wanted to test this brand out. I've seen it like a million times before in Boots. I was like, was it, where is it, in pennies? No, Boots. I have never done like a full video using it. I definitely have dipped into this brand over the years. Like I'd say more so like in my younger years when I was in school and stuff. I'm gonna just throw them all in my face today and see what I think of them and give you guys like a bit of feedback on the brand. Um, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit below par, not as normally as enthusiastic as I would be, but yeah, I'm sick. Anyway guys, if you are not already, I would love you to follow me on my Instagram. I'll like post my link here. I would just love you guys to come over there. I'm trying to interact with you more over there and like doing Instagram stories and stuff and I actually really like chatting to you guys in my DMs so if you want to pop on over there and give me like a little DM or chat to me I would really appreciate that. So without further ado let's get into the tutorial. I got my nails done this morning and I'm absolutely living for the colour like I was like will I go for white again or will I go for that like ombre French polish or whatever the hell you call it and I was like no let's go with Carl because it's summertime yeah so I'm really really loving them I love my nails every single time I get them done you know like when you get fresh claws you're just like ah feeling the best even if you're not <laughs> so I picked up these two brow products from the natural collection obviously I'm gonna fill in my brows first actually do you know what I completely forgot to put moisturizer on so the two brow products I have are the brow kit and then this little tinted brow gel so I'm gonna give these a whirl and see what I think I probably won't like the applicator on this. Okay, so it has like a little gel on one side and then a powder on the other. So we're gonna go in with the gel first. And it has like a little spoolie and two little brushes, which is great. So I'm gonna take the gel first and pop that through my brows. Ooh. So I'm not overly clean, clean. <laughs> I'm not overly keen on the little applicator, but I'm actually really liking the brow gel. And I'm gonna use my Sigma one. This is the E75. Natural Collection is a super affordable brand, but I just feel like it doesn't cater very, like it doesn't offer very many options for different products, which kind of like sucks. Like when I was, well, I'll talk about it when I get to the lip products, but like the lip products were so shimmery. I was like, I ain't wearing all them. So I'm taking that same brush and I'm just gonna go in with the brow powder. Just gonna use that to kind of like set the gel and then like fill in any sparse areas. It's not the worst eyebrow kit I've ever used. It's definitely not the best, but it's a great starter brow kit, I would guess, if you're just get, getting into brows. You don't want to spend too much. I'm going to take this little brow gel thing and I'm just going to pop that through my brows as well. Oh my god, why can't I open this? So there's two shades of this. Wow, that spoolie is humongous. Oh wow, that spoolie is very big and it's like applying way too much product through my brows. So definitely scoop off the excess when you're using this. Okay, yeah, I'm really not feeling this brow's life. I'm not loving it. Anyway, I'm actually happy out with the brows so far, so I'm just gonna like fill them in with my normal like concealer and stuff, and then we'll come back and like do the face makeup. Picked up their primer, and this is the Hydrating and Radiance Primer. It was the only primer that they had. I don't like the sound of hydrating and radiance because you know what I'm like in the summer months in particular. I'm quite oily. Well, I'm oily all year round, but like summer months is just not my forte my face just gets really 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 oily I don't know if this is like pore minimizing or pore filling or it just says it preps and primes skin for a supple radiant face hydrate skin was providing a sheer natural beautiful glow mm, however that actually looks quite nice I thought it was gonna be like really glittery or something Oh my god, no, that looks really, really nice. I like that. I'm actually surprised I like that primer. I feel like because my skin's quite dehydrated, obviously, because I'm a little bit under the weather, that something like this is actually gonna boost my skin up a bit more and make it look not so dead and flat. Wow, I feel like I could just wear this primer and like a little bit of concealer in my brows and I'd be happy out because it just makes my skin look quite nice. <laughs> right, so next up I have this foundation. This is called their Hydrate and Radiance Foundation. Again, it was the only foundation that they actually have natural collection so I was a little bit skeptical and scared about this because it's hydrating, radiant, 
again not my favorite kind of finish in a foundation but we'll see how we get on I'm usually like more into my MAC foundations of me so I'm just gonna do what I normally do and just put this on the back of my hand I got the shade cameo by the way the shade range is they have I think about eight to ten different shades they don't have a really 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 deep shade and then the lightest shade they have is like porcelain which didn't look that pale if you have quite like pale skin so that might be a bit of an issue so I'm just gonna apply this to my face like a nor oh no I think I effed up with the shade that looks a bit too pale although does it hide does it oxidize okay yeah it's oxidizing a little bit so we might get away with this. This is really natural, guys. I actually don't mind the finish of this, but we'll see how it wears, because that's always like the telltale sign. Wow, well, I have like so many breakouts as well. Okay, so it's not covering my breakouts. And definitely the shade is oxidizing. I don't know if you guys can see that in camera, but it's definitely oxidizing. It wasn't this dark going on. It was definitely a bit paler. You know what, if you're like starting out with makeup, this brand actually seems to be pretty decent so far. Like so far, I mean, we haven't tried the majority of the products, but so far, like I think if you're just starting out with makeup or if you'd forgotten like a product from your makeup bag or something, you ran into boots, this isn't a bad brand. But so far, I haven't like tested everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender just to see what kind of way this is gonna end up looking. The coverage on this will be light to medium, I would say. Like I'm not getting like heavy coverage from this. It's not heavy or thick on my skin either. A few of my imperfections popping through, like the spots here on my chin. You're definitely not gonna be able to see that this far away, but I can see them kind of popping through. So I might just put a bit more foundation over those areas. So just if you're looking for like a high coverage, full coverage foundation, I don't think this is your man. But I actually don't dislike this foundation. And I actually am really happy with it. I like the coverage of it and it's not too radiant. Like I thought it might be a little bit overly glowy for me, but it looks actually quite nice just on first application. It made like my skin look my like my skin only better. So I think I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Now the eye product were a bit below par, I'm not gonna lie. They had about maybe 12 eyeshadows and they were all in the neutral range and there was nothing kind of very exciting really to be fair. So I picked up nothing but neutral eyeshadows. I have five of them because I just thought maybe I might be able to create like some sort of maybe smoky eye or something. Right, so I'm gonna try this like mauve shade which is called Vintage Pink and I'm just gonna pop that through my crease. This looked really nice. Hello, pigmentation, where are you? Oh my God, what is going on here? Okay, so this is like taking about 10,000 years to build up. Swirling and swirling and swirling my brush. And try like a little bit more of a detailed brush maybe on it okay that's not too bad in a more defined brush maybe it was just the brush the eyeshadows were only three euro each but I keep making this comparison like every time my eyeshadow is like three euro I'm like yeah but make revolution do like an entire palette that's pretty good pigmentation wise for four euro picked up this shade here I just thought it looked really nice and I wanted kind of something like sultry and I don't know like going for like more of a mauve eye this one's called rose quartz I'm just gonna take this on a flat brush I'll zoom in for you guys in a mere moment but I'm not really doing anything very exciting so I'm just gonna pop this maybe on the inner portion of my eye works a lot better than that matte shade that I put down first Okay, so next I've got this shade Crushed Walnut, which is just a really nice brown. And I'm going to pop that kind of on the outer corner. This is not going to be the most interesting eye ever. Like, it's natural collection, so it's obviously kind of more natural looking makeup. It's not going to be really, really intense, dramatic, colourful eyes. So that would not be the brand I would go for if that's kind of what you're looking for. If you are looking for like a drugstore brand like that, like Makeup Revolution or Sleek or something like that, would be way better. Natural collection is what it is. Natural. I'm going to take this black shade, which is not that black, but it's called Midnight. <laughs> it's more of like a charcoal grey. And I'm just going to put that kind of on the outer corner and like blend it a little bit onto my lash line. And I will clean up out here. I know it looks like a hot mess right now. Finally, I'm going to take the shade Marshmallow, which looks like this. Oh my God. There you go. And I'm just going to pop that underneath my brow and just into my inner tear duct, I guess, of my eye.
I'm just gonna add this brown pencil. This is called Espresso. No, it's just called brown. I'm just gonna pop that into my waterline. It's just a little less harsher than black. I actually really like the eyes. Like I feel like they're kind of sultry and like exactly what I was looking for. And I'm actually happy that I don't have any liner. They're really messy out here. So I will fix that in a moment. So the concealer is the liquid concealer and I got the shade Fair. So I wonder what this concealer is like. I think I might've went too light with it. Just gonna clean up out there. I'm gonna put down my nose in between the brows. Over my lip. And the chin. It's not a bad consistency now, but I always feel like once you blend it in, it's kind of a telltale sign. Sometimes it just blends away to nothing. Oh God, I'm not liking this concealer, guys. It's doing weird things. Oh no, I don't like it. It's kind of like bunching up on me or something. That's really weird. I've never seen concealer do that before. Oh my God, I hate this concealer. Oh man. It's like it's dried or something or maybe it's the foundation underneath or something. Okay, something terrible is happening here. No, it's the concealer. It's like dried in. Oh my God, it's so weird. guys. This is horrible. Can you guys see that? It's like the concealer has like dried in and it's like pilling everywhere. Oh man, I'm gonna have to take that off. Damn. I was wondering, it was like acting really weird on my nose and I was like blending it out and like look at it, it's like pills everywhere. It's like just blending off my face. Excellent, exactly what I want. I can't use this concealer. I've tried to use it like really quickly. I'll try it on this eye. Just put a bit on and just like blend it out really quickly. And it's just pilling everywhere. What is happening? What is the story with this concealer? Oh man, that's horrendous. <laughs> okay, so the concealer is actually going straight in the bin because that is the worst thing I have ever put on my face. What the hell is that? I'm gonna have to like put my foundation back on. Going from the cheapest concealer that I think I own to the most expensive. I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because there's nothing gonna fix this under eye area except for that. A highlighting stick that I wanna use. This is the only highlighter that they had. They didn't have any powder highlighters. So I have to use this now because my foundation is still wet. Maybe I should just like draw it on this side. That's actually a really nice highlighter, but it's just so subtle. I don't even know if it's showing up. Okay, so let's powder the face. I'm gonna take their pressed powder. Ooh. And this in the shade warm. They had like four shades. And this was like the second darkest shade. Deepest shade was kind of like a more orangey toned shade. So the deepest shade was way too orange. So we're just gonna go with this and hope for the best. <laughs> the powder is actually quite nice. Well, it's just set my face and my face feels really soft. So I'm happy out with that. Finishing the under eyes, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with this mauve shade first and just pick up a lot of that because <laughs> it's quite subtle. I'm just gonna pop that underneath my whole under eye area. I'm just gonna take the black and I'm just gonna apply that on the outer corner of my lower lashes. I feel like I made such a mess of the eyes, but who cares? It's fine, let's move on. We're gonna go in with mascara. Now, this is actually a recommendation of a subscriber of mine. And she said that this is one of the best drugstore mascaras that she's ever used. And it's the Definition Mascara from Natural Collection. So I had to pick that up when I was there. Oops, it comes in brown and black. So obviously I went with black. And that's what the wand looks like on it. Oh, I actually really like that mascara. Sorry guys, I've been there talking for the last five minutes and applying eyelashes and everything. I just realized that my camera had run out of memory or my memory card had run out of memory. I'm gonna go in with bronzer next. So there was three shades of bronzer and this is the one I went with, which is called Golden Glow. It's the only one that kind of has like a tiny bit of shimmer in it. It was the deepest one that I could find that I thought might look nice with this look. So hopefully it's not too overwhelming. So I'm just gonna apply that to the tops of my head, forehead and then around my temple area. I like that bronzer, that's a nice bronzer. Just under my jaw and bring it down my neck. Oh, that 
that's a really nice bronzer. I really like that bronzer. It's just not too overpowering and it just looks nice on the skin. It's not too red or orange. Love it. Oh my God, I can't get into this blusher. <laughs> anyway, that's what the blusher looks like. A lot of the blushers were quite pink and some of them were really, really like corally and it wasn't what I was feeling so I just went with this because I think this is like the nicest shade it's definitely the nicest shade that I've seen <sighs> I'm eating a hair Ooh, that blush is quite powdery <sighs> whoo it's like a powder volcano ready oh finally we are on to the lips and I have one lip liner and two lipsticks because I wasn't really sure what lipstick to go for and all of the lipsticks like I already said were like really shimmery and like not my cup of tea at all and the lip liners again weren't really like I wasn't feeling many of them so I got the lip liner in mauve Ooh, this lip liner is really creamy that is such a creamy lip liner I love it so the two lipsticks I got were in fig leaf and cameo so fig leaf is a bit darker so I'm going to apply that kind of to the outer perimeters and put cameo in the middle I have a million percent used these lipsticks before. I think I remember using them when I was in school, but I can't remember if I liked them or not. So this is Cameo, it's like a lighter pink shade. Yeah, even though these lipsticks look kind of matte, they're more of like a sheen. They'd be like a cream sheen finish in MAC if I was to compare it to another brand. So guys, I think it's pretty obvious and self-explanatory of what products that I actually really enjoyed in this tutorial. Majority of the products I actually really liked. And I don't mean to sound bad by saying that, but I actually did not have high hopes for this brand. And I was just not really expecting what I got. And I really, really like the look that I got. Obviously it being, like I said, the natural collection, you're gonna get more of like a natural kind of neutral, toned look but I just I'm really happy with it I think it's it's really pretty and subtle the foundation I am super impressed with I think that's probably my favorite thing that I've tried today or the bronzer I really really like them and the mascara I actually adore that too I just feel like the products together worked on my face and that just it came out quite nice the two products I wouldn't be overly gone on would be kind of like the brow product I wasn't like overly like amazed by that and definitely like this is going in the bin. Like I can't actually ever consider using this again. The concealer, what on earth was going on with that concealer guys? Because it's just, it's, that's not how concealers perform. Even if they're crap, that is not what they do. That, that, that was just horrendous. So that is never gonna be used ever again. The brow kit, like I might give it to maybe one of my younger cousins or something, they might benefit from it as well. I just think it's too dark for my brows. Some of the products that I feel like deserved an honorable mention would be the highlighter and the primer. I really, really liked the primer. I can see myself reusing it over and over. And as it comes to like stick highlighters and stick products like this, I don't normally go towards them because I just don't like the like applicator and stuff. But this applied really nice and it gave me like that subtle glow to my cheeks and stuff and I just really like it. I think that's kind of everything. The lip products are nice but we'll see how we get on like eating and drinking with them. Will they last? Who knows? I am gonna go about my day and what I will do is I will leave like a pinned comment and let you know how it wore throughout the day. It'd be interesting to see if the foundation, the eyes, the lips, mascara, stuff like that, if they actually last. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see any more one brand tutorials, please just let me know in the comment section down below and I will get on it like a car bonnet. And also if you feel like it, if you feel so generous to subscribe, I would love that. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I think that's everything I need to say. I will talk to all you guys in my next video. Mwah.